in my mouth, but then it's like, oh, it's just from here up. Oh well, doesn't matter. Now it seems that I always do my live streams at six o'clock these days, so I guess it's safe to say that, you know, when I live stream, it's going to be at six o'clock on most days. I've just gotten home. We've got these ears on today. You guys seem to like this scarf. Uh, I don't feel so good today. But I've just had some coffee. I feel a bit more like streaming now. I'm just going to sit down. So this is like a new thing that I've put out for Christmas. It leaks. <laughs> I've had it for years, but I've not put it out for years. It's so cute. <laughs> So that's new. And I got this for Christmas 2019. It's actually a present, so it doesn't really, she doesn't stay, you know, put away. Hey, I've got four views already. That's so cool. Thanks for coming. It's like a very pre-Christmas stream. And a card from Salvation Army. Oh, I don't feel so good. Ooh, five views. Yay, thanks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And we've got Paul Dark. He'll be joining us for Christmas, apparently. My mum printed that off. Uh. <laughs> Shut up. Like I say, I'm only showing my belly on Patreon now. I ain't giving the milk away for free. But if I'm going to show my belly off, it's going to be in the hot weather, which it ain't anymore. As you know, but my my streams and videos on you know YouTube public are mainly dedicated to fat admiration these days, and you know, hopefully giving people who are fat more confidence to show off their sexy fat bodies as I have done in the past, because I personally have in the past really desperately wanted to gain weight. And eventually, after years, it took many years, I managed to do it. I've always wanted to be really fat, but I figured I would be smart about it at the time. And I thought, oh, I just want to, because I remember I like that anymore. So I'm afraid you people are just going to have to put up with me talking about fat acceptance, fat admiration, fat worship. And I encourage people who are fat to show it off and be proud of themselves. And also show my art, which contains fat characters. I hope you'll be okay with that. Not really particularly happy about this drawing, so I'm going to... I mean, there are lots of them, aren't they? So I don't really have a lot of new art to show you, so I'm just I'll be drawing a new picture while I'm live. In a mo. I'm gonna sit down. Okay then. It's disgusting. I'm wearing my tail as well. That's not what's disgusting though. <laughs> My mum got me a new lamp because I broke my other one. But that's okay because that one that I broke, I was taking up and down. It still works, comes apart. It's not so good. Oh, God. Oh, I've already got bloody spam things. Fuck off. Ooh, I'm going to report to you. Which one is it? Unwanted commercial or spam? There we go. Reported. Not that it does anything about it because there's still loads of these fucking... I get loads of these comments with people fucking posting fyi.vum or whatever or vom or some stupid thing. Like, what the hell is it? A virus? So I ain't clicking on that. I don't know why I'm getting them. I'm even getting them on my new account now. I bloody found my new account. Ugh. So annoying. I haven't posted to my new account for a while feel guilty that sucks I got about five 
views. We've all fucked off now, of course. Down to three and no likes. So same to you then. Thumbs down to you. Anyway, so I need one of my characters so I can draw her again. I've not drawn so I'm on to a new comic now. I've just started. Hmm. And I'm going to be drawing this character. She's going to feature in this latest comic. Now again, as always, oh, about down to one view, or oh, the usual then. As always, my comics will feature sexual themes, which I can't really show on YouTube, so I'm, I'll censor them out for YouTube, but if you want to see the full things, I'll be putting them on Patreon soon. I've not been very good with Patreon lately. I haven't updated it. I haven't posted anything new, and I feel dead guilty about that. I don't really know what's going on with me lately. I can't really do anything. But I'm proud to say that I've been doing, like, art every day. So I'm proud that I've been doing art every day. At least. So I've been keeping up with that, but everything else I've not been keeping up with. I've not been doing piano for a bit. Okay, that's supposed to be her. I did it for a memory, so it doesn't look the same. But now I finally got her out. I'm going to make the changes to make it look more like <laughs> the original. Okay, so I see now that she's got more curly hair at the top here. But in this one, she's got, like, straight hair. So I did that one last night. So I had to do it for memory because I didn't have... I did technically have her upstairs with me, but I couldn't be bothered getting up and getting her out of the bag. Because I keep them all in the bag. In the bag. So I drew her like 10 years ago, so... <laughs> the updated one, I think, is an improvement, but I definitely want to make her look as similar to the original as possible. So, so that's her. And then we've got her daughter, her and Jeremiah's daughter... I uh, try and make her look as similar as possible. I can never get her looking exactly the same, which annoys me. So they are at a party where Jeremiah is. I think it's his house. I'm not really sure. Probably is. And in this comic, she is introducing their daughter to the father, Jeremiah, for the first time. So that's what this comic's going to be about. They're all scenes from the story. I need her. Why have I put her over there? I'm going to try and make her hair look... This is awkward doing it with one hand. I wish I had a stand. That's another thing. I keep asking for a stand every Christmas, but I never get one. But you know the kind of stand I'll get, don't you? The kind of stand that just makes the phone go, you know be upright which i've already got I've, I've got a stand that's already attached to keep the phone up but i want one of those that like you get these ones that they like grip here and then they've got these really long sort of bendy stand things so you can have it up here like this right you're going ibby i'm reporting you to facebook report unwanted spam or commercial content bye bye fuck off stop spamming my shit my videos with your stupid viruses or whatever it is and fuck fucking porn shit this is not a porn youtube channel so fuck off this is an art and fat appreciation and kind of like a vlog youtube channel so bugger off So, yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, so the, I don't know how these people do it <laughs> without it getting in the way, though, but they have, they position their phones or cameras upwards like this, and it has like a stand, so that's the stand I want to have, and obviously it would be that way on, but it won't rotate the device anyway. Well, there's the lamp, by the way, you didn't see it before, sorry, not supposed to be seeing that, so. So there's a fat appreciation thing. Look, he's kind of smothering her with his fat belly. As you can see. That stuff over there is quite sexual, so I can't show that. Not if I want to be monetized anyway. 
That's his paw. Is it his paw? Is it his paw? So yeah, it'd be nice. I mean, I suppose I could. You got the nice shiny glare. This ain't gonna work, is it really? And then my hand will be in the way as well, so that's not gonna work. So yeah, this is really shit. This is really shit. So I need a, a light that that goes above. And the stand gets in the way. This is really not good, is it? We'll just have to put up with the shadow then. That's the best I can do. That'll be just easier. I think I got the faces near as damn it. So I've just got to sort the hair out. It looks nice as it is, don't get me wrong. I should have probably taken a picture first, actually. So she's got like a wispy thing here. Yes, that's more like it. Yeah, that looks better. Definitely. And her isn't quite as big as I've done it. She's got like curly bits up here. Oh yes. This looks much better. Looks much more like the original. So I looked at my art page and I'm, I've got like less, fewer views and likes than ever. But I've noticed that the um, things that get the most likes on are my the females. So I'm going to opt to draw more females. I always like to draw females anyway because I think they're more interesting to draw with all their curves and everything. So I do actually prefer, and I prefer this pen. So I've I've now discovered. Remember, remember I said that I don't like that drawing pad. Well, it turns out it's not the drawing pad that's the problem. It's the pen that's the problem, because I've been drawing on this pad, which is the good pad, and with the other pen, it's still the same, and I still have the same problem so it's the it turns out it's the pen and not the i'm gonna have to put it nearer to me now because i'm gonna do some details that are a bit more i'm gonna make sure it goes perfect so yeah i'm gonna focus on drawing more females i think i love drawing males as well though so i won't give up on that but i'll do some more f females because that's what my audience seems to like the most, judging by the amount of likes. Although the latest females that I've drawn haven't gotten any likes, so I don't know what's going on there. And I see I've got zero views now. Lovely. So she's very curvy. I remember I did. I started doing a card business once, and uh, I drew this female on a card. <laughs> card. And my mum criticised saying that the waist was too... Oh, I'm sorry, there you go. So this is what I started last night, part of the new comic that I'm doing, featuring her. Her eyes are a bit more f further up on her head than her face than I've got it, so I'm just going to... Oh, shit, that looks shit. I'm going to have to do that again. Hey, remember when you guys asked me if I if I needed art supplies for Christmas? The only art supplies I really need at the moment... The only art supplies I really want at the moment is a new... Um, what's it called again? Display tablet. I think my mum might have bought me one for Christmas, so I don't really want to ask anyone for that because I already asked my mum for one. So she might have already got me one. Could you stop going blurry, please? So her eyes are a bit further up on her head. Okay. Actually, I like the eye I did. So I'm going to go over it again. Yeah, that looks good. Too bad you can't run my full belly boss. Okay. 
My stomach is so painful at the moment. My stomach is so painful. It's eased it off by having some food and drink. I'm very thirsty at the moment. So I've I've found uh, my old blog. And I've decided to start it up again. It's a blog from from when I was like 14 or something. I must tell you the story about that. Wow, I got her pretty much spot on, you know. I did this from memory. For the most part. But it doesn't look quite right, so I've had to redo it a little bit. Oh, she looks so much better now. Hi, Otto. Hi, Richard and Brad and Dan. And Brad's too late to see the... Um, we've had an annoying person. A couple of annoying people which I've reported. The first annoying person was someone asking for belly content again, which I've not had for a while. And... Uh, And some stupid spam people, which I've reported. So anyway, she's a normal wolf. Actually, she looked better before I did that. She looks like she's got a blue moustache now. I know it's like above here, but it still looks like a moustache somehow. It's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. I didn't mean to make it look like that. see the beggar he seems to have gone now that was a while ago i told him to go on patreon if he wants that kind of content he's like when are you gonna start doing belly stuff again i'm like when you go on my patreon you'll see it i know her ears are like up there but i'm gonna put her earrings there <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> she could have earrings there we go but that's a stick out, because otherwise you can't see him. <laughs> Why does this guy keep asking me this? Neither of them. But okay, Coronation Street is better. I've never watched EastEnders, really. My mum stopped watching it because it's full of gay shit and foreign shit. <laughs> yeah, because she's old school and hates all this modern crap with all this gay shit and foreign shit. <laughs> Gay shit, foreign shit, and blacks going with whites, and whites going with blacks, and Asians and stuff. She hates all this stuff. And how about all these adverts? Have you all noticed? It's not even Black Month anymore, and yet all the adverts have predominantly black people in them. It peace, it's ass, it's ease, it's ass, it's... I know I'm not racist, because loads of people feel the same way. Everybody hates all this shit now. Everybody hates the fact that bloody minorities and foreigners are just taking over. And it's like, what the fuck? Now you're making white people a minority. And it's not good. We're not supposed to be flipping the lid, you know. I thought y'all wanted equality. This is not equality. This is pushing white people aside in favour of black people. And it's not on. I'm pushing straight people aside for gay people and worshipping them instead. It's not good. It's not equality and it's not progress. It's like the opposite. It's like the dark ages. So I've said this before, instead of... Right. This is progress in my book, okay? Progress is where everybody gets equally accepted and represented. But instead of that, I'm seeing that Black people are being in favour than um, white people, and people are hating on white people. Privilege. And I'm like, nobody cares. Like, nobody even knows about it. So I didn't even know about it, technically. Like, I never knew about white privilege until everybody started banging on about it. The only reason why all of this racist stuff is happening 
if that's what you think is happening, which is all in your head, by the way, is because you keep bringing it up and banging gang on gone about. <laughs> hey, do you like my funny language? Banging gang on gone about it. <laughs> Nobody would know anything about it. Nobody would care. And there'd be no racism if you didn't keep banging on about it every five minutes. And going, oh, well, black people are so hard on you and gay people are so hard on you. So we must make everybody aware of it and get everybody even more angry so that they'll hate white black people and, and Asian people and, you know, gay people even more than they already did or didn't do before. <laughs> so that's what, exactly what's happening. All that's happening with all this shit is that people are getting more angry and even more racist than ever before. Like, nobody cared before. Everybody just lived in harmony. Everybody accepted everybody. But now, since, like, 2016, I think it was, and they've been, like, really highlighting gay people and highlighting black people and all these other minorities, suddenly everybody hates them now. But not because they're racist. They hate them because they hate the fact that they're just, like, making this big fuss over nothing. It's like a, a Black Lives Matter thing has happened ever since that guy got shot by a policeman, that black guy. And it's like, but the guy committed a crime. Like, why are you having a go at that then saying, oh, police are horrible and oh, they're racist. And, mm. It's like the guy is a criminal. Of course, he's going to be shot at or whatever it was. You can't go, oh, well, he committed a crime, but because he's black, oh, it must be a racist act that he got you know, arrested or shot or this or that. And it's like, no, that's stupid. I mean, I don't know the details, but I have heard now it's been confirmed that he was a criminal and he was doing bad and he was about to attack a, a police officer and that's why he got shot. That's what I've heard. <laughs> minorities in, now have minorities in, like Darling Buds of May. Then remake is full of black people and Asian people. And it's even been confirmed that there were, there were even to this day, there's not that many black people or Asian people in the Canoctery side. They're just ain't. It's just not natural. It's not how it really is in real life. But because these companies are so hell-bent on being progressive and woke and social justice warrior-esque, they're just putting black people and Asian people in every bloody thing where they wouldn't normally be black people and Asian people. It's like if you did a, a TV program about in India or something, you wouldn't just see like a load of black people and white people, would you? It's going to be predominantly Asian people. And if you did an African TV program, it's going to be predominantly black people. There ain't going to be a bunch of white people unless it's South Africans in it. It's like in most countries, there's not that many opposite races. It's going to be mainly the race for, that is actually there, if that makes sense. I don't know what's... But now every white program, like, oh, it's in America or it's in Britain or it's in this place or that place. It's got to, we've got to have loads of black people and loads of Asian people, even if there isn't in real life that many in that particular place. And it's like, all right, you just, you know, you just doing it for the sake of fucking oh look at us we're you know progressive and we're wonderful and oh, we're woke and it's like oh it's not about being woke though it's about being accurate like in certain places there are just not that many black people or asian people it's like that's how it is it's not racist it's stupid you're just do you know what they're doing they're just becoming a joke and it's the same in Wales. Apparently, they're doing this thing. I've just looked at this YouTube video. They're doing this thing where they're going to have, like, all these segregated groups where all the black people are in one group. So they're basically going to be segregated. And it's like, okay, so that's the opposite of racism then. I thought you all didn't want to be segregated. I thought you all wanted to be amongst the general populace. Oh, sorry. No, can't talk anymore. Oh, shoot, I forgot her crown or tiara. 
so bad we can't make all the food because we still have brought in feedback in here. Oh, didn't know we needed any. I told you last night. Of course. I don't remember that. Both sets of tea bags. That's my uh, 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 uh. That looks good. I'm quite happy with this. Very pleased with it. Do you want me to get them now? <sighs> well, when you're ready, I'll get I'll get them. So, apparently it's not about that pad, it's about the pen I was using. The pen was just rubbish. Or pencil. What? Oh, right, right. Got I'm currently drawing on the bad pad. No, oh, no, it's still right. rubbish. Actually, it is still rubbish. So, it was to do with the pen and the pad. They're so cute. I might try a ball on the small one. Yeah. Or yeah, balls at. Oh, it's good. Rub it out no, not good, are they? On canvases. Canvases are very hard to rub out on. No. And on paper, you know what this pad? Oh no, well, I'm gonna when have I to rub out it, on the pad. Paint in white. Uh -huh. Hide it. Even that doesn't work very well. Well, I'll try it. You can use hairspray, but you don't really want to do that. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, you know, if you do hairspray, mm. it'll make sure you can't see the shit underneath. You know, like the pencil so, marks. So you put hairspray on it, let it dry, and then paint them. Yeah, it it'll sets it, and then you can put. Yeah, it's it's, it's so because sometimes when you paint, especially white, over the top of pencil marks, it smudges, or you can uh, still see okay. it underneath. It is, it is I a joke. Oh, so all right, okay. <laughs> Everything is a joke. That's right. That's the latest one from what I've reckoned. You know how you... I'll, I'll look at Sainsbury's first. They might have them there. I need chocolate. Why don't you buy chocolate? Why do you need so many? Because I... Because I... Because there's only... Because, because, because. because there's a certain type of chocolate I like and don't like. And I don't know which one I like. But I know I like the ones in advent calendars from millions of years ago when I had one. I like plainer chocolates. I don't like the type with all that goop inside. Anyway, probably ordered that well before you talked about. Yeah, I know. So I h deliberately held off getting them when they were all over the place because I thought, oh, my mum's going to get one, so that's <laughs> all right. <laughs> and now I can't find one anywhere. It's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. It's just that we've had ones like that every year now, you know, where it's not chocolate. It's just like ornaments or... Just opening a thing, it's a charity yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm going to advocate smoking instead. Mm, <laughs> I, I know, I don't normally like it, you know, I'm not really that bothered normally. But There's lately, I. Here, Does hot chocolate count? Because I've been having that at night. Yeah. Apparently, it's good for you. So I've, I've, I've read up on all the stuff that's really good for you, like your joints and your heart, and apparently, you're not having any of it. No, no. Salmon, chocolate. Oh, wow. so, you don't like any of it. Out, out, out. Out, out, out. Out, out, out. 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 Out. I've got an idea. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that always works for me. Well, I'm trying to get him at his comfort side. I thought he might like that. There you go. Come on. <laughs> He's lazy. Oh. He doesn't look too good, does he? <laughs> He's miserable. He's fine. Don't that. Don't start going down that road. <laughs> He's fine. I know. Right, down I didn't mean it that way. Good boy. Good boy. I'll give you a little treat because you're a good boy. Ish. No. <laughs> ish. <laughs> a treat for being a good boy. Ish. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's the that's the yeah. best training ever.
That's the cutest canvas I've ever seen. Cutest canvas. So yeah, don't get me any out of supplies, because my mother's already done that. I know. <laughs> Okay, let's have lots of pasta dishes. No. I like pasta. Yes, I know. By the way, I need to go to Asda this week because you know I need yeah, to get. I told me that, okay, you? just just making sure. I told her apparently. Someone said they miss my supermarket streams. The tea bags. <laughs> Those tea bags. It's okay. Uh, anyway, so. Uh, 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 yeah. I just want my supermarket streams. I can't anymore because I've been banned from Morrison's. Because <laughs> I'm such a bad boy. I'm such a bad. I'm such a bad boy. I'm such a criminal. Well, that's fitting because Jeremiah is a bad boy. So yeah, that's me. I'm such a horrible person. I harass staff. I harass customers. Oh, I'm the worst. Me. Yeah, that's me. Anyway, as I was saying before, I was so rude. <laughs> Sorry about all that talk before. Just remember, I'm not racist. I'm not homophobic. I am. Um, what is it? What is it called? Illogicalophobic. <laughs> Illogicalophobic. So all this stuff that I talked about is just illogical. All the stuff that people are doing to supposedly counteract racism and homophobia is illogical. So there. Well, you can't remember who. I just think funny voice. It's illogical. I am a very logical person, you see. And it seems that the majority of the human race are not logical. They like to counter as a racism by making everybody racist against white people. <laughs> and straight phobic. <laughs> yes, that's progress. This is progress, right? This is progress, according to everybody. Progress is making an oppressed minority person okay to make an oppressed minority be up there somewhere superior and make the once more i don't know what you call it majority i guess <laughs> the superior races as was you know the ones that were accepted at one point and were revered so that would be white people and straight people were preferred back you know then like a few years ago, <laughs> a few million years ago, um, to make them oppressed. So that's that. That's people's. What's the word? That's people's um, solution. That's the word. That's people's solution to racism and other prejudice. So just prejudice across the board. People's idea and solution to prejudices is to make to be oppressed. So black people, like and straight pe gay people, I mean, and other LGBT people are up there somewhere and considered superior. And straight white people and cis people go down there and be oppressed. So that's people's idea of progress. Do you see the logic in that? Because I really don't. I really don't see the logic in that at all. That's the opposite of progress in my book. I thought progress was where everybody was accepted and here's another thing when people are talking about progress and acceptance and stuff like that apparently fat people are going down again you know so fat people have always been sort of oppressed i guess are ridiculed and hated and stuff like that but it seems it's worse than ever now i feel like everybody is even more fat phobic than ever and it really pisses me off because every TV program or film I watch or advert or whatever is always with skinny people or muscular people, shirtless or in sex scenes. And I hate it. Even short films. I've been watching a load of short films lately that are, I guess, amateur films. And even they only show skinny people. 
and it pisses me off. And any fat people that are in it, you either see them for two seconds or they have to be clothed. Like there was this, there was this um, abuse short film that I watched the other day, and it was brilliant. Yeah, it was dead long. And, it, and the abusive husband was this big, fat, huge, enormous, sexy bloke. And I was like, I'm in favour of the fat, abusive one because he's so fat and sexy. And there was a lovely sex scene in it. But he kept his shirt on the whole time. <laughs> but the good news is he was wearing this really tight-fitted tank top so you could see all his flab. It was so sexy. And I'm just basically watching it for my own personal <laughs> But it's not really porn because you don't see much. <laughs> I want I want I want it to be <laughs> I know it's not meant to be that way, but there you go. There's a Patreon. <laughs> and you can support me in other ways, but I I'm not doing PayPal anymore because I can't get my money from that. It keeps it's, it's pressuring me even more to, to, to verify my account and I just didn't do it. It's called behind it's got these blonde wim woman on on the the, the the thumbnail, and it's like award-winning short film, award-winning win domestic abuse short film or something. It's called. I've got it on favorites. And I want to see. So if these people are amateurs and they're doing short films, I'm sure they'll take suggestions. So every single one I sh I see, I always comment because obviously you can't comment on things that are on the telly but at least I can comment on the things that are on YouTube and I can put show more fat people and can you show them like shirtless and in sex scenes please because I want it to be my own personal porn because you all anyone who knows me knows I don't like actual porn you know on porn sites because it's always cheesy and horrible and disgusting and <coughs> you see too much I like you know, like movie sex scenes. But you can't find specific things. So there's there's very seldom any really nice sex scenes with fat people. Because I don't, first of all, I don't like, like I say, porn sex scenes because it's always disgusting and amateur and the angles are shit, the lighting's shit, you see things too close up so you don't get to see the whole picture, which I hate. I don't want to see anything close up because... And... <laughs> Hey, little Queen Ali, I'm now following you, and I, I messaged you on Instagram, as you know. That was me, the boss that messaged you. I'm the sun god prince on there. Yeah, so it's really shit that every movie and even short films, they never get to see any fat sex scenes. I want to see... The only graphic I want to see is big, fat, flabby bellies bouncing up and down. That's the only graphic thing I want to see. And it's like, I could think, oh, well, there's loads of, of videos on YouTube of fat people showing off their flab. But it's never as good because, like I say, it's home films, the lighting shit, blah, blah, blah. I want to see movie quality shit. Good shit. I want to see some sexy, romantic, passionate scene with the fat guy just being, you see him in all his glory, maybe walking out of the water, shirtless, or with his shirt over. Why can't we have stuff like that? See, that's my purpose in life, you see. My purpose in life, my one, obviously, it's not my only goal in life, but one of my big goals in life is to see sexy sexy movies with sexy sexy fat guys as the main characters and the love heirs. the love interests where they have lovely slow motion shirtless scenes with a big fat huge enormous fat guy or a girl in their bikini walking out of the water with all their flab jiggling in slow motion <laughs> of like amateurs you don't even have it doesn't have to be anything like hollywood it can be just like someone making a lovely high quality movie which there are many on youtube but you know they never reply so it's hard so if any movie makers are watching my streams and videos or hopefully they'll catch on one day 
they will take my advice and make a movie predominantly about fat, sexy, huge, enormous main characters, whereby they're revered and everyone's jealous of them because they all want to be fat and huge and sexy like them. But that's where I come in. I'm going to be making a movie like that. But, but I don't know how to make a movie. <laughs> I can't do it myself. I need a crew. But I don't know how to do that. I guess that costs money. I'm thinking of just hiring somebody to just do like a one scene. <laughs> it is so sad. I don't know how anybody does it, to be honest, but, oh well, one day, maybe, a miracle will happen. I need to go to Hollywood. She can't be here. Why, why am I smelling this? It's very, something's very, very strong. Okay, I'm just, I'm gonna turn this, um, oh. Oh, no. Lovely current passing through. I'm gonna put the heater on just for a minute. Oh, probably moan at me, but oh well. She's been putting the heating on. I I just want to show you my outfit while I've got loads of viewers. So I got to take that off. Make it's strangulating my poor waist. Turn that shit down. Where is it going? So I'm wearing this lovely outfit again, like last time, but. I'll show it again for people who haven't seen it. So yeah, my goal is to definitely see movies and reviewed as superior beings. Because fat people are superior beings. I think they're very superior to skinny people, in my opinion. And again, before anybody moans at me, I'm not skinny phobic either. Or sizist in any way. It's just, this is just my, again, my opinion. But I think it's a more logical opinion than, pe than ha the opinions that people have today, which is that skinny people are superior and fat people are inferior. That doesn't make any sense. So I'll list you all the reasons why that is. Okay, so people think that fat people are inferior because they're lazy and they're fat and disgusting and they are, I don't know, like, oh, they have no self-control or something. They don't have any willpower. And apparently that's a, an unattractive quality. But in my book, being lazy is a very attractive quality and being gluttonous and greedy and having no self-control is really sexy. I don't know why it just is. Like, oh, it's like a load of hard... Because people, like, in society, they favour people who have, like, self-control, who work hard. Now, I think those are very unattractive qualities because I think that, you know, if you, if you are in a position where you can just not do anything and just sit around and eat all day, then obviously that would be more favourable because that's a lot easier and it's just, oh, I've got a really easy life because I'm so rich and I'm so privileged and stuff, so I'm you know, rich and privileged enough to just sit around and get fat and just let yourself go, I guess they would call it. But I think be letting yourself go is very sexy. I don't know why people don't like it. And why is being skinny and muscular so attractive and so favoured? Well, apparently it's because they have lots of self-control and they work very hard and they take care of themselves. And I'm like, getting really skinny is not taking care of yourself. That's starvation and being underprivileged. <coughs> well, there's loads of people in third world countries who are skinny. You can't say that they're healthy or... You can't say they would be revered because they're poor and they don't work hard to be skinny. They're just... It's not really a good thing now, is it? Ugh. There's no logic in that. It's like, do you remember that scene in White Chicks where those two white women, they were like looking at these, oh, it's so sad about these these skinny kids in third world Africa. And they, everybody thought, oh, you're dead caring and everything. But he said, oh no, it's because I'm so jealous because they're so skinny. I want to be that skinny. 
And it's like, why would you be jealous of somebody who's skinny? I mean, I, I get the joke, obviously. It was a comedy, so I get the sort of joke. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, that's reality. In reality, apparently, like these women, they actually favour skinny. And it's like, why? Because skinny represents being poor and underprivileged and being starved and being... Um, uh, what's the word malnourished undernourished so unfulfilled so how come how in this society is being malnourished undernourished poor starving how how is that superior favorable and attractive and working hard to the point where your bones are ground to dust how is that considered attractive attraction is, is wealth power being so privileged that you can just lounge around, be lazy. You you can afford loads of food, so you just eat loads of food and just let yourself go and have all spilling sexy rolls <laughs> overflowing like a freaking overflowing tank or some shit, which is sexier than just being having all your bones sticking out. I mean, how's that attractive? Seriously, how is it attractive? You're disgusting. People, I told you about logic though. It's it's disgusting. It's 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 the stupidest logic ever. Like, I don't, I actually literally don't get human beings. <laughs> That's why I don't fit in, you see. I'm from another planet. The sun. I'm from the sun, right? Because I'm the sun god. And yes, the sun god won't get burnt. Because he's literally made of fire. I'll show you more art in a bit, because I want to show you, don't worry. <coughs> but see this how You can see my tail is and shit. <laughs> Sorry, the tail and ears don't match one a day. I will get a tail... Just like this, that's pink and purple. Let me just read the comments because I can't see the comments from there because it's there. I put it there and this bit blocks exactly where the comments are. I've got to do the flamed up version. Yeah, the one where Jeremiah gets so angry that he just bursts into flames. His hair bursts into flames and his shoulders and wings are all inflamed. Yes. Like Hades from Hercules. I love that. I love those scenes where Hades gets so mad that he just bursts into flames. I love that. His arms and shoulders and his hair burst into flames. I don't forget when it rains or whatever, the flames go out. <laughs> so that's what happens with Jeremiah when he gets rained on. His hair just goes out and he's bald. It's so funny, isn't it? Terrible joke. It is a terrible joke, actually, yes. Let me just read it. I feel your pain. How's it going? Got a lot of views tonight. Not anymore, it's like fucking three of them. Tell them what for. Okay, I'll go to Hollywood and I'll tell them what for. Oh no. Turn the shitty down. Hard to get fat when you're skinny though. Uh, Hollywood, it has been no models purposely get a tapeworm so they stay skinny AF. It is disgusting. You would make a good talk show host. You gotta do the flamed up version. Hades is my favourite god. Yeah, mine too. He's cool in the I love I I just love bad guys. Especially bad guys that have a sense of humour and, you know, they're funny. And they sometimes have a little bit of a, a good streak as well. I like that. Isn't that what Mastermind is about? There's there's one called Mastermind, and it's basically about a villain. Apparently, it's a very good film. I've never seen it, but apparently it's very good, and I can't wait to watch it. Zeus is a duck. Zeus is pretty cool. He's actually Zeus is actually a bad guy because he did really bad things, especially to his wife. He cheats on his wife all the time, but when she cheats on him, he's a hypocrite, and he does bad things to her. He beats her up and, and ties her up by her hair, and it's horrible. So he's actually pretty badass. Sunspot, so yeah, Jeremiah is a sexy sun god. He's almighty and all-powerful. It's one of the pictures I will show you in a bit. I think I showed it to you. I can't remember if I did. A talk show host, I'm not really sure about that because I have to interview people. And I would probably get so offended by most of the things that people say that I'm interviewing. Because I watch, sometimes, I, mean, I don't make a habit of it, but I've seen bits of talk show hosts and it just offends me what people say and the talk show host is like oh yes that's good and I'm like no it's not but whatever it is 
like, oh, let's kill all men. That's what they go like. And they're like, yeah, let's kill all men. Like, men are horrible and shit. And it's like, no, that's cool. That's bad. That's, that's not progress. You can give it right back. <laughs> There's a God of War series. Oh, that's nice. That's I created these two gods when I was a kid. When I was 12, I think. And one was the doggy god, but he didn't have a name. He was pink. And the doggy goddess, and she was called Athena. And she looked kind of like Georgette the Poodle from... Uh... I think she was supposed to be a poodle, I'm not really sure. But either way, I think... <sighs> they're like all dogs all put into one. It's supposed to be. So they didn't look like any one kind of dog. They were at all dogs mixed up. And basically I ruled over them as well because I was the ultimate king of the gods and everything. So anyway, in my series or film or whatever it is I'm going to create, it's definitely going to be about a sexy, sexy... Uh, we don't like you, you're rubbish. <laughs> It's definitely frowned upon to be skinny because it means that you're just inferior in every way. Because you're poor and meek and weak and disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. I really don't look nice. I don't even look nice. You track lunch. What decade would you travel back to? Her Steph, her BBC News Beyonce lady. 70s. Well, I don't know. There's a few I want to travel back to. Probably, I think, the 1850s, I think. That's when they had the best fashion in the world. And you were revered for being a big, fat, sexy overlord of a man. But I definitely got to be a man in that, in, in that era because women were seen as shit. Ah, oh, the 1850s, silly. <laughs> And I would be a rich lord and have several wives and I would keep them as slaves and they would just cook and clean for me all day while I just sat around and ordered them about and said, pick that up. Like if I dropped my pen on the floor, I would go, even if it was right next to my foot and I could easily just reach down, I would, say, I would tell my one of my wives, pick that up now. And that's what I would do. That's what I want in real life, like now, like for real. But I don't know where to find such a person. So if anyone watching this is a submissive female, I would love to have you as one of my many wives. But you've got to be okay with being in a harem. Okay. What magical power I would like to fly? I'm not sure if that's considered a magical power. That or being invisible, because then I could just go into people's homes and just watch people. But I'd have to be able to walk through walls as well. As well. So fly to get to the people's homes I want to go and watch everybody in. Being able to get through the, the door if they've got it locked. <laughs> by being able to walk through walls. And be visible so that no one knows I'm there so they can't, you know, shout at me. Yeah, that would be great. TK was down for it. Really? What, being one of my harem? Say that. She did say she actually would like a threesome relationship. She would like to be in a relationship with us a three-way. But her boyfriend probably won't be happy about it. I don't see why, though. Surely, I mean, it's every man's dream to have two women, I guess. Although I wouldn't be considered a woman because I'm trans male. Until you fart lol, then you'd be ousted. What? Oh, wait, wait, being invisible. No one will know that it's me anyway. I'll just, you know, they'll probably just assume it's somebody else in the house. I really need a drink, but I think my water's running low. Well, that's what I dreamed about. What, being with two women? Or farting? In the house where you're invisible? <laughs> Not at all. I feel okay now. I've had a, That coffee's gone, um, the coffee from the co-op has gone really strong now. Well, that's what I dreamed about, TK. You dreamed about TK? And the boss? Oh well, I'm not sure it can happen then. 
I would be delighted to be in a relationship with both her and her boyfriend. Because her boyfriend is actually quite my type. I've seen pictures of him recently, and he's actually quite handsome. He, co- he looks quite like um, a cross between Jeremiah and this emo guy that I knew a long time ago. Who He did try and have sex with me once. But I wanted to get to know him first. I'd only met him once. Tudor got submit effed. Submit effed. According to TK, he is submissive in the relationship, but I don't see it at all. He definitely doesn't seem... I mean, he looks like the submissive type because he's a scrawny little boy. He is the type that I would really like to dominate. Like, I'm not typically... Well, this is how I think... I think that men are like the dominant sex... Which is why one of the reasons, one of the many reasons, of course, why I want to be male. Because in my view, male are dominant species. (laughs) Dominant sex. uh, But only if they are really like the type to be. Because it looks pathetic when someone who's not really meant to be dominant tries to act dominant. But like this scrawny little nothing. And they're just shit at it. And you just want to make fun of them. <laughs> but I could definitely see someone who's skinny, scrawny, young lad being more submissive. So he does look the type to be more submissive because he's skinny and young. So he'd be the type that you'd want to squash with your big fat belly. But personality-wise, he does not seem submissive at all. He is quiet, but he seems more like the ominous quiet type. He probably watches my stream and going, I hate you even more now. Because it's already been established that he hates me for some reason. He's seen me once in a stream with his girlfriend and he's decided already that he hates me. But I don't mind. Because he's just insecure and intimidated by how sexy and dominant I am. And fat. See, fat people are more intimidating and dominant That's another thing they try and make it out, like, oh, fat people are submissive or something. No, they're not. They're obviously dominant because they're bigger and heavier and therefore stronger just by the fact that they have more weight on them. And even fat people could be actually physically strong because even fat people can work out and stay fat if they want to. You know, they can build muscle up under all that fat. But in my experience, fat people have been stronger because I try. I'm not going to say who it is, but it's a friend. Too skinny, though. Yeah, he's bony. But I quite like a a scrawny boy because it means I can, you know, (laughs) overpower them. See, I want a scrawny bloke so I can overpower him. I want a fat bloke so he can get on top of me and overpower me. He does love me, really. You're right. I wish you'd let me message him so I could just tell him how, how much I'm going to squish him like a book. <laughs> squish him. He's probably taller than me, you know, but I'm big and fat now, so <laughs> I'm going to dominate him. Eddie Hall, when he won the world's strongest man, it loves me. It's Rouse. We tag team her. Rouse. What? Also, TK was the main partner in that dream. What do you mean? Like, she was the dominant one. Technically, she would be because she's the biggest. But I'm the boss. I would always be the the main one. I would be the, uh... The shepherd and the stag of the herd. There was this... What do you mean, nope? I said a few things, so I don't know what you're saying nope to now. <laughs> and what's this sort of it was like it was a story Ah, poor TK she's too big to be like that in that position this is in the way go <laughs> away 
I would like a scrawny boy or girl to dominate. So yeah, I was watching this story documentary type thing and it was about this main man who was called the shepherd and he had this flock of women and he mated with both the wives and the daughters and that's like Jeremiah he is like I'm going to mate with everybody because I'm the boss and his father Lino is also the boss as well so Jeremiah is like the underboss and he's going to take over from his father one day Poor Lino, he, as the eldest son, Jeremiah would be the one to overpower him one day, but, you know, Lino is quite worried about this. God, I'm all over the place with that story. I really don't have an order to it right now. It's quite, like, so far the book is just going to be all over the place because I have no idea how to write a book properly. I have loads of ideas, but it's like the order in which to put it in and like so and I've got to make sure all these messages come across like I say it's really quite overwhelming and hard one of these days I've got to knuckle down to make sure that it actually gets right written properly I'll probably have to write it on the computer I've been writing, so I've got most of the story on the computer, but then I've got lots of it on the phone as well. And the only reason why I do that is, A, so that I can write about it on the go whenever I have an idea, and B, so that I can print it off, because apparently the computer is not connected to the printer. So I can't print anything off. Well, the problem is because it's on here, it's, it's, you know, so I'm probably going to have to write the whole thing on, on the phone. You know, like that the woman who did Fifty Shades of Grey, apparently she wrote it all on her uh, Blackberry phone in her notes. I guess she did that and then maybe rewrote it on the computer later so it could be printed off. I don't know how she did it really. Well, that's handy because the Blackberry actually has a really good keyboard. It's a shame they discontinued the damn things. I find them a lot easier than, you know, stupid touchscreen one. Hello, Issa. You're just in time for the art. But I'm just going to get the food. I'm going to put it on, write it on the computer, then send it via email to your phone and then print it on. Yeah, I could do it the other way around, couldn't I? Surely I could email the phone notes, hopefully, to the computer. Oh, oh, I could copy and paste it in an email, couldn't I? I could copy and paste it and then send it in an email. But I've got this, I've got this thing. I don't know, it's McAfee or something else. I think it might be No How Cloud. I can't remember what it was, but we've got this thing where, where every device can be connected to it. So you can send files via every device, but I can't remember what it's called. I know I've got briefcase, but I think I'd have to download some shit on the computer, on the, the phone, I mean. I'm just going to get the food. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. So you can, you can look at these lovely pictures while I'm gone. I have two emails. I have about a million. It's always good, isn't it? Never mind that. I'll, I'll just... Ugh. For God's sake! <laughs> Little Queen Ali has just said, I'm great. Instagram. Uh... No need for copy and pasting, so I can just send it right okay, so I have two emails. I'll just send it an email, I'm sure it'll be fine. And sweet cakes, and everything's gonna fall out. I just really like them bland. Yeah, hey, I've got seven likes, I'm so happy. Well, we will be quick. These take about a million years to cook, let's see. Don't worry, I'll show you arse in a minute. I've thought of another present for Christmas idea. I'm not really good at... I'll try and... One of the things is on, on eBay, so I can't really put it on an Amazon wishlist, by the way. 
eBay has a wish list too, I think, but I'm not sure if it's public. Hey, I was right, it is 200. Cook these. I started out liking them, but I don't really like them anymore. I find them a little bit boring and dry. Not really looking forward to this at all. I didn't like yesterday's food either. I've got off loads of things. <sighs> Copy and pasting. It takes forever to get this open. They don't, they don't make it easy, do they, to open packages? They do not make it easy at all. Oh, we can talk about some more. Okay, so the blog, right, the blog. So I've, I've, I've had a blog for about a million years, but I called or what blog hosting thing that it was on it's e-blogger or something it's just called blogger i think actually i used to think it was called e-blogger but it's just blogger and apparently it's powered by google so i actually found it by chance when i was looking for something on google it's like i'm still logged in because obviously i'm logged into my google account and it happens to be called it's called lord dorian of the tudors I didn't know what the Tudors was back then, but I thought it sounded really posh. It sounds like he's really important, importante. So that's where my persona was, Lord Dorian, who is very similar looking to Jeremiah, but he's blue. I couldn't decide what hair colour to give him because <laughs> he's technically a grey Russian wolf. It will never die. That's good. Yeah, that was the blog I was telling you all about. And I said I was going to talk about it in this streams. So I will now. Okay, so many years ago when I was about 14. Oh, no, sorry. I had I had Dorian when I was 17, sorry. 17 and 18. But I created the blog when I was about 14, 15 or 16. And I think a lot of the posts make a lot of sense, but obviously people didn't like them, especially the one where I talked about this girl called Kirsty, which I've talked about in my streams a few times, who I'm not going to say anything bad against now because she doesn't give me any problems. But back then she used to give us a lot of problems because when I was 10, that's when all the harassment from all the local gangs of, of kids started. And it started off with my mum, them having a go at my mum for being a witch. And they bu they basically bullied her mainly, not me. I wasn't the target back then, it was my mum. I'm going to take the scarf off so you can see my shirt. There you go. It's very manly, see? I'm so manly. Uh, it matches my ears. Oh, it's warm in there. It's warm in there. <laughs> my hands are freezing. <coughs> So anyway, so it started when I was 10. I don't know why 10. I don't remember having any problems before then, but when I was 10, the problem started with them. And they started banging the, the fence and breaking the property and trespassing and calling my mum names and shouting obscenities and throwing stones at us and bottles and shit. Sh and we didn't do anything to them. All we tried to do, or my mum tried to do, is make friends with them so I could have friends. And they got nasty and horrible. And the main ones were, didn't give a shit anymore. So again, you know, I'm not going to call them out on here now because they did apologise and they did leave us alone. Now, K Kirsty S did not apologise, but she kind of made peace with us in her own way without actually apologising. Put both of them up. Tuck them in like a poos. <laughs> I could actually borrow my mum's gloves, actually, because she'd left them here. I was only joking, by the way, sir, if you're still watching. Ah, they're cold. That's not going to work. The only way to warm my hands up is to put them under my armpits. I can't warm them up anywhere else. Anyway, so, so Kyle W and Kirsty S were the main they were like the leaders the kyle was the leader of the boy gang and kirsty was the leader of the girl gang but they were all like of the same gang you know they all knew each other and stuff and you know but ma mainly 
the ones that would come would be Kirsty and the girls or Kyle and the boys. And that's how it would be. Anyway, when, when they discovered I had Facebook, because I didn't have Facebook when they first started harassing me, but when I did get Facebook when I was 16 or whatever, they started bullying me on there as well. And Kirsty sent this really nasty message basically saying I was shit for being homeschooled. My mum's dead tight. And all I do all day is look over my wall and what have you. <laughs> Thought, well, actually, I only go... I looked over the wall because, you know, that's the only way I could watch the outside world at the time. Because obviously everybody else who wanted to do that could just go to their window or just go to their front door. But I have a big garden and grounds and a big wall, so I have to go to the wall rather than the window or the door to look out. And I only did it, like, once a day when I took the dog out, like, four o'clock. That was it. It's like I'm not always looking over the wall for a star. And also, ooh, oh, yeah, I've got to... So she said this... She was swearing at me, insulting me, calling me a C-word, and calling me all sorts of horrible names and all sorts of things. So I copied and pasted it into my talking buddy thing, and I wrote my reply in there, but I didn't send it to her... But I said also, I said really horrible, nasty things. <laughs> you know, I was like, I was acting dead snobby and how like I'm, I'm far superior to her. And you're just a load of chavvy, scummy, scruffy, whatever. So I did insult her quite a bit and swore in between. But I didn't really send that to her. Got to bear that in mind. I never sent that message to her. But it was this was just me venting and ranting, like getting my anger out. But I don't think I responded at all. I just ignored it. Like, I told my mum about it. She probably told me to ignore it, so I did. That's what, that, the best thing to do with bullies is to just ignore them. Like, in real life, you can't really ignore them. But, you know, online you can. Oh, man, I'm just going to read this. I, I, I Don't go anywhere. I was joking. Do you want some of them touchscreen gloves? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. As long as it's accompanied by other presents. I don't want that to be my only present. I'm not greedy, it's just I want a more interesting present. I want that breast reduction cream. Gimme. Remember, it's called Cute Bee or something. It's on e eBay. It's not on Amazon. I want it. Get me loads of it. See this how it's a little bit... It's not too expensive, but it's a little bit obviously expensive, so I'm presuming it will work. So otherwise, it would be dead cheap. Be like, oh, well, it doesn't work, so you have it cheap. So if it does, now, if it doesn't work, I'll let you know and you can get a refund, I'm sure. Also, I'm still waiting for my bloody iPod Touch. Just thinking of a secondary gift. Yeah, just remember, they've got to be dead small, though. They've actually got to fit my fingers because if they're up here, I'm not going to be able to, you know, take advantage of the touchscreen thing. Like the ones Granny Isabel gave my mum that were like this big. Make sure the posh looking, something that Jeremiah would wear. I don't want anything that looks like a homeless person's gloves. Ugh, so no decorations on the apartment. I haven't got any up yet. Uh, oh, let me just read this person. How come you don't show your belly anymore? You gave so many people confidence to show a chubby belly. All right, okay. I don't do it because I'm not giving the milk away for free anymore. If you want to see it, you have to go to Patreon. Because I'd rather, you know make money because it's basically the only way I'm fucking earning any money because no one's buying my art so no nah. so I've got to earn money somehow haven't I Let's buy all my stuff oh and be before I forget anybody who's thinking of becoming a patreon do not become a patreon for a really high tier and then threaten me because if you have already paid the money and then threatening me saying oh you I, I, you know that's not my fault because you never ask me if I'm willing to do a certain video. So if you already pay me up front and then complain because I won't do a certain video that you want, it's not my fault. It's your fault for not asking beforehand to make sure I will actually do that video. Because that's what somebody else did to me. Somebody else did that. They basically became a Patreon, then complained to me and then said they were going to report me and they said, they were going to report me for scamming and they were going to leak all my content and it was really annoying because it wasn't my fault i i was quite i was actually going to do the video but then i didn't have the opportunity to do it and i never said to that person i would do it anyway so they were like really they were threatening me and saying i was a scam 
And it's like, how am I a scam when you've got all the other content that's already on there? Or you could ask for a different video. Just because I won't do a certain thing does not mean I'm a scam. It means I have limits and standards. So don't become a Patreon just to threaten me or threaten to leak my content and threaten to call me out for scamming because I ain't a scam. Never happens, so that's good. Yeah, you know, I think she was just bluffing. I said I would give her her money back, but technically it's not fair because she still got content for the money she paid. Because I've got loads of videos on there <coughs> that are up for the Patreons to all see. So it's, how is it a scam? A scam is if there was nothing there and I just didn't send you anything, but, you, you know, you gave me money and didn't get anything back. That would be a scam. But that's not happened, has it? Because there's loads of content up there. But don't leak my content. Oh, very dare you. As I will find out. Anyway, yes, the story. Don't worry, I was getting back to it. Okay, so once upon a time... <laughs> once upon a time, I said all that nasty stuff to her, but I didn't really say it. So I post, just, like, it was for fun, right? It wasn't serious. For fun, because I can't remember what it's called. It's now called, I've called it something else now, but it's still called, it still says it's called Dorian of the Tudors for some reason, even though I have renamed the blog. Anyway, so that, so I put that, and I made, it's really long, because my reply was so long that I had to do a part one and part two of the conversation thread. And it was really horrible. She was basically ridiculing me for being homeschooled. And the fact that I like to go to the wall and look over it. And how I'm a scruffy C word. And all this other horrible stuff. So you could, you could kind of understand why I replied the way I did. Because I was just re retaliating and defending myself. But after a while of having that posted on my blog... I got these two or three, and it must have been three, and they must have deleted their comment because I, I named someone called Angus, which is not there anymore, but the, the other two are still there. Someone called Angus commented, and they all were basically on the bully side and saying that I was, out, I was disgraceful and vulgar and repugnant and disgusting. And, she, and they, went, they were like on her side saying, well, she makes good points. Put her points across very well. Every every word was spelt wrong because it was back in the days where all teenagers did spell every single word wrong. Do you remember those days? Like tight was T I E T three and stuff like that, and U R for your and uh, what was another thing? <laughs> there was all sorts of things. It was just such a ridiculous comment. I can't believe they all sided with her. And basically, even the commenters ridiculed me for being homeschooled. They said some, it was something along the lines of, see, this is why kids should go to school, because otherwise they're like you, and you're this horrible, vulgar, disgusting, repugnant, disgraceful shit. <laughs> and it's like, did you, did you not read what she said to me? Did you not? Did you not read what she said? She said really horrible things to me, but yet you're siding with her and saying just because my comment was longer, and I had lots of swear words in it, but everything, everything was spelt perfectly, and the gra the grammar was correct, the spelling was correct, and they had the nerve to say, oh, this is why kids should go to school. You're a bad example of homeschooling, and bleh. I was like, what? I was defending myself against a bully mate. Like, they obviously didn't know the whole story, and I said that. I said, how can you judge not knowing the whole story? Ten years old, I was bullied, and I wasn't doing all that snotty shit then because I kept saying that I was posh and I had a title and I lived in a big house. So, yeah, I did kind of brag at the time because I was really proud. At the time, I was really proud because I always thought that I was brought up well, and I, I, I did pride myself on being, like, a snobby sort of posh person. Like I was this posh person wearing suits and dressing posh. And I do actually have a title for real. Because one of them was so snotty in the comments, he said, My father actually does have a title, but we don't lord it over people because we didn't earn it. 
but they were still kind of bragging anyway. <laughs> But they were bragging about not bragging. Like, they were bragging about not lording it over people that they have a title and they do own land and they do ha live in a big house and all that. So they were putting me down for having a title and having land and living in a big house when they have a title and have land and live in a big house. But because of the fact that I defended myself against a bully and just happened to swear a lot, and I did go on and on and on and on, it was a really long reply. But just because I did this really long reply and called them scruffy and said you're commoner and said you're chavvy and said I'm better than you because I dress smartly and have live in a big house. <laughs> and you probably live in a, such a tiny house you can't swing a cat around <laughs> And it's a disgusting dock of yah that you can have a dog in. Because a lot of the people, they just put that, they just leave their dogs in these tiny yards. And the dogs just bark all day. But they said, my dog would much prefer to be in my yard than your scruffy, shitty garden. And I'm like, I don't think so, mate. Pretty sure the dog would prefer to be in my big garden with fields than your shitty little tiny yard where it's barking all day. Well, okay. That's one of the neighbours said, not the commenters, by the way. I'll get to that soon. And he's called Matty, by the way. He was one of my neighbours. He still, I think he lives there again, actually. He must have broken up with his shit again. <laughs> no offence. <laughs> one of my neighbours, oh, he's like a grown-up now. He must be about my age or maybe a bit younger. But he still hates me after all these years. He was one of the hooligans, you know. He was the first hooligan to live at this end of my street. So I told you all the hooligans lived at the other end of my street. And still do. But this one is the first hooligan because he used to hang out with Kirsty S. Uh, he bullied me on on Facebook, and he's and he argued with me saying that oh your 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 house is shitty and your garden is shitty and that he blamed me for the fact that the dog his dog barks all the time. Well, I complained about his dog. I said your dog bark all the time. <laughs> I know. He said my dog barks all the time because you encourage all those kids to come running up and down the ginnel at the back of my garden. And it's like, no, I don't encourage them. I don't encourage the kids to come. They come of their own accord to bully me. How is that my fault? Who's old gigan? Anyway, I don't know who the hell that is. That's not her name. Anyway, so, uh. Oh. Yes. So, anyway, so. And they had the note to call me Scruffy. Like, at one point, I did kind of dress a bit scruffy, but not really scruffy. And the only reason why I did was because I lived in a muddy garden. I had a muddy garden. And I had this big coat that had, it was like a puff, puffy, puffer coat, I don't know, like the bubble coat with the bubbly things. And, and it did have some mud on it, but that's because, like, you know, I went out of the garden, it was very muddy at the time. It's not muddy anymore, actually. That's good. But it used to be really muddy, so. But they used to go around all the time wearing tracksuits and hoodies and sweatsuits. How the fuck is that less scruffy than what I was wearing, just because it's clean? Like, it's still sweatsuit. It's still something you should just be in your house in. Anyway, so I was ridiculed for being a snob or something, but I was not allowed to be a snob, but everybody else is allowed to be a snob, apparently. Okay, then. Thought, well, I just have standards, but okay, whatever. Like, they're the ones that are bullying me, so why am I the one... Why are you siding with the bullies? Like, they're probably saying, oh, well, no wonder you get bullied then, because you're like... And I'm like, yeah, but I wasn't always like that. The only reason why I was acting snobbish and acting like I was better than everybody else... The reason, the reason why I did that was a defense mechanism because they were already bullying me before I became arrogant. I became arrogant as a defense mechanism. I became snobbish. It's like my mum always used to say, and again, she did this because, you know, she's trying to think of a reason why, not an excuse, but a reason why they're doing this. And my mum always said, so they thought I was better than them because I was homeschooled and lived in a big house and they couldn't stand that. Not just out of jealousy, but because they thought I was arrogant. They was like, mm. But that was not the truth. The only reason why I said these things, which I didn't really say, because like I say, I didn't send that message. The only reason why I said those things, though, which I didn't really say, 
apparently, because it actually says in my blog post I didn't send it really. That I just did that to get it off my chest to feel better and also to have a bit of a laugh as well. It was a bit of entertainment for myself as well. And I was hoping that all this stuff would be entertainment for anybody who would view it. So it was satire. It wasn't even like really being a bully. I wasn't being nasty. I wasn't really being arrogant or snobbish, even if I had the right to be. <laughs> but I do, I mean, I do feel, I do think that I'm better than these people because they seek me out and they say, oh, well, no wonder they bully you because you, you know, act like this. And I'm like, yeah, but if they don't like it, then they can stay away from me. They don't, if they don't like me and the way I act, then they could just leave me alone. They don't have to come to my house if they don't like the look of my house. Like say, oh, you've got a dock of a house and you're shit and you're a shit or whatever. It's like, well, they don't have to, you don't have to come anywhere near me. If you don't like my house, if you don't like me, if you don't like my mom, and they also threaten to behead my dog as well if they don't like all this stuff then they can just leave me alone why blame me i'm here minding my own business in my own garden looking over my own wall you know apparently that offends people right you'll get reported mate report unwanted commercial or spam fuck off anyway so all these interruptions will stop happening. It's like, yeah, but what I'm doing by being homeschooled, having a big house, my own wall, is not harming anyone or bothering anyone. They deliberately come to seek me out, to bully me, to make my mum's life and my life a living hell to the point where she got so stressed over the years of bullying and harassment that she had a heart attack. And then when she came home to recover, they came and they threw a fucking stone at the window, which could have caused her to have another heart attack. Because at the time, her heart wasn't very well. It was recovering still. And you know what I did? I went to the wall as fast as possible. Not the wall, the door. I went to the door as fast as possible. I opened it and they'd gone by then. But I shouted at the top. They probably meant right there and then when they actually threw the stone. But I actually meant she already had a heart attack thanks to you in the past and now you've probably given her or maybe caused her more stress so she has another one. But they obviously thought I meant that she'd had a heart attack right there and then because they didn't bother us for a whole year. So they obviously were hiding somewhere and they heard what I said because they didn't bother us at the time for a whole year and that was back in 2015 to 2016. So we didn't get any problems but they did. It was their fault. It's their fault that my mum has had all this stress all these years. And you know what stress? Like, these are the things that kids should be taught in schools. They shouldn't be taught how to airbrush images and how to have sex and how to get condoms and, you know, to accept all these races and gay people. Instead of all that shit being taught in schools, they should teach people to <coughs> respect and honour older people. They should teach kids to not bully anyone, not just other races. This is another thing I put in, in my blog, my latest blog post. I put in my very latest blog that I created called Brave Journal or something. I made a post about instead of teaching all this shit in schools, this stupid fluffy stuff, they should be teaching schools, they should be teaching kids to respect and not bully everyone, not just minorities. Not just LGBT, not just other races. Like, oh, you've got to honour and not bully other races. It's everyone you've got to not bully. Old people, disabled people, mentally ill people. You've got to not bully them. And they've got to realise, they've got to be taught that when you do bully people, what happens is the amount of stress caused over a, a chronic period of time, that's a long period of time, because cr chronic keto you know, can mean severe, but it could also mean over a long period of time. Um, so stress over a long period of time can cause actual physical health problems to the point where people can have strokes, heart attacks, and bone failure. Yes, they see, so that's another one. Sorry, I'll get back to the story in a minute. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm going off on a bit of a tangent, but it's still related to the story, so please bear with me, people. 
Yeah, furries are another one, another sort of minority that is not accepted even in this day and age of accept, supposedly supposed to accept everyone in this day and age. But like I say, pro progress doesn't exist. All progress is, is replaced. Blacks and gays used to be bullied, but now it's the opposite. Now they're worshipped and revered and straight white people are like, you're inferior, you're shit, now you're oppressed. That's all it is. It's just replacing one bullied person with another one. Instead of accepting everybody, we're still bullying one group of people and favouring another group of people. So now it's furries, white people and straight people and cisgender people being bullied and ridiculed because, oh, you know, furries are bestiality people and, <laughs> and white people are suppressors and straight people are suppressors and, oh, you're... That's progress, apparently. You're shit. You're whites. You have white privilege. I thought, no, no, no. More like LGBT and minorities are privileged now. White people are shit. Everybody, oh, and men. I forgot to mention men. Men are oppressed. So men, straight white men are oppressed. And if you want to be accepted, you have to be a gay black female feminist. And that's it. Which it never bloody happened. <laughs> Actually, it's okay because thanks to you, I can now tell everybody that you. <laughs> no, <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> well, in the future, if ever if ever I get bullied, I'm gonna tell the police. Oh, they're bullying me because I'm transgender male. <laughs> Stupid. Well, since everybody else is doing it, oh, well, they bully me, or oh, I committed a crime, but oh, well, it's racist because I'm black that they're that the police are arresting me. It's like, I don't know, it's just so stupid. Anyway, so fairies, fairies are not weird, they're just part human and part animals, they're not bestiality. I will admit, though, I am more attracted to furries that I am attracted to humans but it's still not bestiality because furries are humans mainly they're humans with animal features and that does not make them prime for bestiality because they are mainly human they think like humans they can talk they can give consent they're just like another species of human they're sort of and I'm a furry, so how could it be bestiality? Because if I'm a furry and somebody else is a furry, then obviously it's the same species! Pariahs. It didn't even, it didn't even, because I got bullied when I was 17 because I wore that wolf hat. And they all think I was delusion, delusional because, oh, you think you're a wolf. And it's like, no, I don't. I'm not delusional. I know I'm human, really. It's just that I like to dress and act like a wolf. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not hurting anyone. Like if I went around mauling people. But then this in 2016 or 15 or whichever year it was, everybody wore, wore like animal hats with ears. But I was still bullied for it. It's like, you're kidding me. Like every I was the first one to do it. Then everybody else started doing it. But I'm still being bullied for doing it. Like, what? Anyway, so I just wanted to send this message. So basically... <coughs> not about the wolf stuff. Mm. How come you're not being yelled at by now? Oh shit, it's nearly eight o'clock. Yes, I I will be yelled at in a minute. I didn't realise it was so late. Thought you'd be yelled at about the wolf stuff. She has got a tail. Yeah, we did have that when we went when we went out when I was with Brad and these I was wearing the tail that day, and these kids went, Oh, she's wearing a tail. And I said, Oh, yes, alert the media, I'm wearing a tail. It's such a bad, horrible, terrible thing. Uh, but yeah, looking over my wall and being homeschooled doesn't affect anyone. And also, one of these days, I'm going to do an ed educational video live stream about homeschool as well. Because I hate the fact that even, to, even in this day, the 21st century, being homeschooled is still ridiculed and still, again, treated like it's the worst thing in the world. And it's like, it's not. 
It's like one of the reasons, and this I, I talk about this in my blog. So I would really, I really encourage people to check out my blog because now I've made it an educational blog. It's an educational blog. Uh, it's, so it's not a video where I'm just ranting. At, like I've kept my old posts from the past where I do rant and rave a bit, and probably don't make much sense, even though it does make sense. But I probably didn't point for my point across as well because I was like 17. I've kept those so see, all you people can see, you know, hopefully how much I've come along. So I'm keeping the old posts from when I was younger. <laughs> but all my instead of rants now, I'm going to put educational posts. So one of the recent posts I put is about homeschooling and basically knocking out of the park any misconceptions about homeschool kids and parents and stuff so one of the main issues people have with homeschooling is that the parents are not qualified somebody who has lived a certain amount of years on this planet 30 plus years is going to have some level of education without going to teach a college and having qualifications so my mum taught me everything she knew. Anything she didn't know that she thought I might need to know, she bought a book and she educated herself on it. And then she taught me, you see? And even if she couldn't educate me on a subject, she would give me a book and say, read that. Or a website that's educational or a TV programme that was educational, like a documentary. She stuck me in front of the TV and made me watch this reenactment of like Jesus Christ. And at the time, I didn't really like it. I didn't really like, you know, religious stuff when I was a kid. Although I did always believe in God. And yes, I did love God and everything. Because I'm a Christian and all. And I do believe. I am a believer. But I wasn't really interested in religious stuff specifically. So I didn't really enjoy it. But I watched it. And now I do think it's interesting. And I watched another documentary just recently. I still don't understand it fully. But I did kind of enjoy it anyway. So yeah, I was forced to do a load of educational stuff and like I would ask my mum a question and if she didn't know the answer, she would say, I will find out for you. This is how it works. If you don't know something, you find out. And it's like when you're homeschooling, you don't just wing it. It's like you actually join a group called Education Otherwise uh, in the UK. I don't know about any other countries, but... There's an education otherwise, and that they will give you all sorts of information you need to homeschool. And they give you like a lesson plan and a curriculum to follow. And it's, you know, you could you could do it any way you want. You don't have to follow a curriculum, but if you're stuck and you need to do, you know, you need help, they will give you like information that you need. So you get all the support you need from teachers, from other parents, and there's like a thing where, you know, the homeschooled, that's another thing. They think that homeschooled children are not going to get socialized and they're not going to have lots of friends. But that's not true because there's a whole group of homeschooled children that you can join. We never join those. But there's like these get togethers where homeschooled parents and homeschooled children could get together and make friends and support each other and give each other information, you know, and swap like lesson plans and stuff like there's a whole support system and network for people who are homeschooling so there's no excuse to think that it's rubbish and that they're not going to learn anything and the parents are just going to be bad influences and another thing is that another reason why people hate it is because they think oh well the child's only going to ever see the four walls of the house and only ever going to get to meet their parents and you know know and follow their parents opinions on things and stuff and it's like that's also not true my mum used to take me out and about every single day when I was a kid we used to go out we were always out and it, you know it's also educational when you go out as well you know you can learn things as you go along you can learn things about nature when you go out and places you could go to museums and other educational places galleries whatever Uh, homeschooling is the new normal due to COVID. Actually, that's not true. They're still frowning upon it. And there's still all these adverts saying, oh, we must get the kids back into school as soon as possible because they're missing out on valuable years of education. And homeschooling is rubbish and homeschooling is not good enough. <laughs> they're still going on about how bad it is and it's still shit. I like it's better. You can sit on a computer and just 
listen to a teacher. It's great. I would do that. And you don't get bullied as well. But having said that, I still got bullied. Like, I didn't actually realise at the time that I was actually being bullied by all these kids because I wasn't actually going to school and being, like, physically bullied in a school playground or being stuffed in a locker or getting a swirly or a wedgie or anything. But technically, I was bullied. So even though I was homeschooled, I was still bullied. The only difference is they never actually physically assaulted me except for when they threw stuff at me. And there was this one time when they encouraged me to go out and play football with them. So I went out and then they started throwing the football at my head. And they took my wolf hat at the time and they kept passing it to each other. I actually just stood there and waited for them to stop. I didn't get mixed in with the whole, oh, yes, I'm just going to chase after it. No, I didn't do that. I actually just stood there and waited for them to stop. And they handed it back to me. But then before I could actually grab it, they fucking put it on the floor. <laughs> I was like, thank you, bye! Yay! And then I went in. <laughs> They're jealous because they'd rather get homeschooled but have to go to school. Exactly. But they tried to ridicule me, say that, that you know, my mum was dead tight because she didn't send me to school and that I'm not socialised. Like, why would I want to socialise when the people I'd be socialising with are people like you, who are bullies and nasty, horrible, and you'd be bad influences on me anyway because they all cause trouble... I remember the police when we used to, um, you know, report these people, these kids. They used to say, well, why don't you try making friends with them? Uh, and my mum was like, oh, so you'd rather me, you'd rather my child associate herself with all these kids who are wrecking people's properties and swearing and having sex and bullying people and harassing people. And getting drunk and falling down and th in the street and throwing up and staying out until three o'clock in the morning and their parents not knowing where they are. It's like, you'd rather my child be like them and be part of the problem. <gasps> oh, that's logical as well. <sighs> but I was like, well, I tried to make friends with them, but all they did was be nasty to me, so meh. But I don't actually try. Streets are right is better than lousy public school. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, you can learn through life. You've got a whole internet. There's courses. There's college courses. There's online courses. There's websites. There's books. There's YouTube videos now because that, that's that's quite educational as well. I've learned loads from being at home, actually, or just going out and about. I learned social skills by going out and about and stuff. And I was a wizard at, at arguing at the, in the past. I used to blow everybody out of the water with my uh, immense argumentative skills. I always won. <laughs> like, do you remember that story where that, that woman came up to me and she was like, she had to go at me because I threw a crumb at her kid because her kid was kicking pigeons. And I was just, I was just, you know, minding my own business, eating my pasty. And this kid came along and started kicking pigeons right in front of me. And I was like, so I just merely threw a crumb at the kid. And not only did the mum make a huge fuss and come at me like a, a rhino, but she got like a bunch of other people to have a go at me. And it was so ridiculous. The whole town virtually was all looking at me and twitting and shaking their heads. But before then, she actually fucking assaulted me. It's like... Oh, okay. I said, how would your kid like it if someone chased and kicked him? So I actually chased him. Oh, it was a horrible scene. I think the problem was them hooligan kids were the police kids. <laughs> I don't know about that, but... I think parents should just parent the kids and discipline them. We should bring back corporal punishment and and caning and <laughs> seriously though kids back in the victorian era were a lot more better behaved and disciplined than they are now and they got caned and i also watched an educational program about that too and apparently they didn't just cane them at every little thing that they did wrong caning was an absolute last resort 
or being hit on the hand by a ruler. All these things were just last resorts if the kids would not behave with all the other methods like being shouted at, told off, or punished in more humane ways. Dueling. I don't know about that. <laughs> Oh. But yeah, definitely. And people don't like hitting kids either. And it's like sometimes kids do deserve a good smack. Like just once on the hands or the cheek. Again, really abuse because it's just a slap. Beating the crap out of a kid would be abuse. Anyway, I digress. So I just wanted to educate people on this matter. So what what I wanted to do was I wanted to make I want to make my blog and my YouTube channel where I educate people on certain things teach people things because I have learned a lot in my millions of years of life I've learned stuff that other people do not know and it would probably be very useful experience as well Especially like bad things. Like she taught me about all the dangers out there and she told me like, you know, how to be safe when you're out and about on the street or in a relationship or whatever. Be nice to uh <coughs> you know. It it would be it would be nice to sort of pass it on. Oh, I've learnt something else new if you'd like to know about it. Just one more thing before I show the art off. It's, it's best for like young kids, but if you don't want to have like crooked freaking teeth like I always had, mewing is the best thing to do. And that is where you push your tongue up against the roof of your mouth. And up against your teeth. And make sure your jaw is pushed out like this. Not, not only prevents your teeth from being crooked, but it also can change the structure of your face as well. So it can give you more defined cheekbones, it can change the shape of your nose if you're not happy with that. And your jawline. That's something I would have loved to have known when I was a kid, but only just learned like recently. Mew! It's not the same as Mew! It's a cute name though, Mewing. So if everybody, anybody wants to correct their crooked teeth, forget braces and just mew. Obviously it works better if you don't have a bunged up nose. I always had a bunged up nose growing up because I always had colds, so I couldn't mew. I'm just going to show you real quick the art because we're running out of time. My bum's going to kill beard a bit. It. So this is what I did there. I'm going to show you the art now. Of course, I do music as well. <laughs> Look, that's sexy, isn't it? I'm not really a big fan of that picture, but oh well, there it is. What have I got before here? So here's the end of the comic, if you remember the comic. As you can see, the pad and pen is really crap. It's like dead fady. You'll be pregnant now. No, you'll have to marry me. See, it's really shit. Look at the shit. Her censorship isn't going to be great. But she's not happy that he said he's married. That girl you saw. Uh, married to that girl you saw. But she's not happy about it. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong way around. Censorship the damn thing. She's so chubby, look how chubby Jeremiah is. She's not happy. <laughs> if you want to see the full pictures, you can on, on Patreon. Poor Poos. This one's actually not so bad, you don't see anything. It does go after her. If you guys want to see like more sexual scenes and everything, you can go to Patreon. He says that he will marry her. 
as long as she doesn't mind having a sister wife. That's the end of that comic. Okay, I can't find that other picture, but I will. Never mind. So that's the one from last time for people who haven't seen it yet. The family portrait that everybody loves. I'm really quite proud of that and I can't wait to colour it in. It's going to take me ages because, you know, it's got more than one character in. I'm used to only colouring in one character. And that's Jeremiah having his belly and fat rolls squished by his wife, Daisy. And it says, Jeremiah is the sun god, all great, powerful and dominant. I had to put that in because most people always think that the ones doing the feeding is always dominant or something and the fat one is submissive. It's not the case. In this case, the fat one is dominant. He sits around while his wife cooks for him. It says Daisy is always cooking and feeding her husband at his command. He demands multiple meals and snacks throughout the day as he is gluttonous. She loves to play with his fat rolls. And yeah, he's dominant and he's very bossy and demanding. And he's very gluttonous and greedy as a result. So he'll just sit around on his ass and she will be soft, which she loves. See, that's, that one is fady and that was done with the other pen, which I don't like. I need more of this type, but I don't know where I got those from. I don't even know the name. It doesn't even have a name. But look how good that one is with this one. That's that pen. And it's got this soft, smooth thing going on. So that's really nice. And how nice and crisp that is. So I think I'm going to carry this pen around with me. But when it runs out, that's it, you know. It's kind of, kind of a shame. <laughs> that's the latest one. So she's called Nancy, I think we agreed on. And Janice, Jeremiah's oldest daughter. And today she is being introduced to her father for the first time. And there's the the date that I did that. So I did it yesterday. Is it? I don't even know what date it is today, actually. I'm not really sure. I don't know if it's the seventh, seventh today or yesterday. Now, this is pencil, silly. I don't draw things for the first time with gel pens, you know. It's a mechanical pencil. Yeah. Thank you, little Queen Alley. I'm glad you liked my painting, my pictures. pictures. I'm trying to draw at least one picture every day. So that I can get better and better every day. I've not really been great with the colouring, though, lately, because I've just not been bothering. Well, the one I'm doing at the moment is a Christmas picture, and I'm just not happy with the way it's turning out at all. So because of this, I, I just not been bothering with it, which I tend to do when I'm not happy with a drawing. I just tend to stop doing it. But instead of just starting on another one, I tend to just not do anything at all and get lazy. But I really want it done before Christmas, so I have to really focus on it, you know. All right, I'll see you later then. I'm going to stop the stream. Don't to like, comment and subscribe. And buy my art <laughs> and my comics. And if you want to, you can help me get my animations up and running. If you have any talent at all. Goodbye.